Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to fix YouTube and error curd playback ID. So let's begin. Method 1. Clear the cache and data of your Chrome browser. Open your Chrome browser. At the top right, click more, three vertical dots or arrow icon pointing up, depending on your browser version. Click more tools. Click clear browsing data. Select a time range. To delete everything, select all time. Check the boxes for cookies and other site data and cached images and files. Click clear data. Method 2. Restart your modem or router. Another factor that can cause this issue is when your computer does not have any internet connectivity. Try to open another browser tab then visit any website. If you can't open the website then you can try to reboot your modem or router to fix the problem. Just turn the device off and wait for a minute before turning it back on. Method 3. Try a different account. If you are facing the issue, even after restoring the system, the chances are high that the problem is with the connected account and not with the browser. So, as a solution, connect a new Google account to YouTube, and see whether the YouTube error occurred playback ID error is resolved or not. Here are the steps you'll need to follow to connect a new account to YouTube. Open a web browser. Tap on your profile, which is present at the top right corner. Select Add. Enter your credentials and sign in with a new account. Now, open YouTube with a new account and see if the problem continues. Method 4. Turn on off Autoplay. Open YouTube and play any video you want. The Autoplay button is available just below the video. If the toggle is on, turn it off and vice versa. Method 5. Flush the DNS cache. Click on Start menu, type Command. Right click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Inside the elevated command prompt, type the following command and press enter to flush your DNS cache. Check if the YouTube and error occurred playback ID error issue still occurs. Method 6. Try using Google's public DNS. Press Windows key plus R to open up a run dialog box. Type nkv.cpl and press enter to open up the network connections window. Select the connection that you want to configure the Google public DNS for. Inside the Wi-Fi Ethernet Properties screen, go to the Networking tab and go to the Settings box under this connection that uses the following items. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click the Properties button. Go to the General tab. Select the toggle associated with use the following DNS server address and replace the preferred DNS server and the alternate DNS server with the following values. Method 7. Reinstall your browser. Press Windows key plus R to open up a run dialog box. Type apwis.cpl and press enter. Scroll down through the list to locate the browser that is causing error. Right click on it and choose uninstall. Follow the on-screen prompts to remove the browser from your computer. Once your browser has been uninstalled, restart your computer. When the computer starts, use the built-in browser, Internet Explorer Edge, to navigate to the download page of the third-party browser that you previously uninstalled and download the installation executable. 